Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah Moon and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm back with another hair video featuring my Dyson Airwrap. I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking about purchasing it or you may even already own it and just want to find new ways to try to utilize the Airwrap. I also want to thank you guys so much for showing me a lot of love on my previous Dyson videos. If you haven't watched those, I will link it in the description and I'll also put a card up here so that you can watch my previous Airwrap tutorial. I also made a comparison video of the Dyson Supersonic and the Airwrap Complete set. So make sure to check that out if you haven't watched it. So for today's video, I wanted to share some quick and easy hairstyles and tips using my Dyson Airwrap. It seemed like a lot of you loved the Lazy Waves tutorial from my previous video. And like I said, that's one of my favorites as well, especially when I have to go into work and I just need to style my hair quickly. So before I get into this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I am almost at my goal of 10k subscribers so it would mean so much to me if you can help me reach that milestone. I post a lot of New York City vlogs, lifestyle, beauty, and fashion related. I post tutorials like this and even reviews so I hope you guys stick around to watch my other videos. Also don't forget to like and leave a comment if you guys found this helpful. Okay now I'm just gonna jump right into the video. So I'm starting with dry hair today but I got a lot of questions about this on my previous tutorial. A lot of people ask me if they can use the air wrap on damp hair or dry hair and the answer is both. I normally use it on damp hair because I like to style it right after I wash my hair in the evenings but sometimes I just get lazy to style it at night and I would do it the following day when my hair is completely dry. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today and honestly, that's another reason why I love the Airwrap so much because I can just style my hair whenever it's convenient for me. This is a hairstyle I like to do when I'm really in a rush and I just need to tidy up my hair real quick. The Airwrap Complete set comes with this soft smoothing brush and it also comes with a firm smoothing brush. Personally for this hairstyle, I like to use the soft one just because it gives me more of a blow dry finish. If you want more of a pin straight hairstyle, the firm one will probably be better. I'm just going to attach the soft smoothing brush and I'll set it at the highest heat and air setting. So I just like to go in and brush this all throughout my hair to get rid of any knots. And then I'm just going to focus it on one side of my hair first. And as I'm brushing through, I'm just going to work in intervals and alternate using the cool shot and the heat. This will really help to remove any frizz from the heat and just smooth out my hair. I just like to work in sections and I just run it throughout my whole head in a slow and steady motion. I smooth everything out, I'm just gonna go in and just kind of tidy up the ends of my hair. So I'm just gonna go in and place the brush inside of my hair and as I'm going down, I'm gonna slightly curl in the ends. I usually just pause a little at the ends while my hair is wrapped around the brush, do a little cool shot, and then release it. This will really help my layers look nice and neat without it flaring outwards. The last step that really makes this hairstyle look a little bit put together is shaping my curtain bangs. I'm gonna go in with the round barrel attachment and I'm going in with the highest heat and lowest air setting for this. And I'm just gonna wrap my bangs around it, curling it towards my forehead and just making sure that the ends are really wrapped around the barrel. And after a couple seconds of heat, I just do the cool shot to just lock in the shape. Let it sit for around 5 seconds and then release. And then I'm just going to swipe it back with my fingers and you can see that it's very very bouncy but after you brush it out with your fingers a bit, it really just shapes your face very nicely. I'm going to use a similar technique to give some volume to my roots but instead of curling it towards my forehead, I'm going to curl it away from my face to give a slight lift. So I'm just going to wrap my hair around it, making sure there's tension at the roots, apply a little bit of heat, and then do the cool shot for about 5 seconds again. And then I'll just brush it upwards and out. You can see that that kind of added some volume to my roots and it just connects really nicely with my bangs. 
So this is the first look. It really only takes me around 5 minutes to do this hairstyle, so it's perfect for days when I'm in a rush. I really like using this hairstyle a lot when it's humid and hot or rainy and when my hair tends to get a little bit more frizzy. The second hairstyle was a popular one from my previous airwrap tutorial, but today I'm going to show you some updated ways I've been using this technique since I do it so often. So for this, I'm going to go in with my thicker barrels and I'll use the highest heat and air setting. And I always make sure to use the direction that points away from my face. So I just roughly split my hair into two and then for the section that I'm working on, I'll just hold it up like this and then start twirling the air wrap around it. But while I'm doing this, I just kind of keep an eye on the pieces that aren't getting curled and I just pull out the barrel and reposition it while I'm twirling so that I can make sure the whole section is getting sucked into the barrel. So I do this for about 30 seconds to a minute and I only do it with the heat function without the cool shot. When I shared this last time, I just left it as is, but I realized that I have some layers at the top section that aren't getting curled. So I'm just going to grab a section of my top layer only, and you can see that this whole piece is not curled. So I'm just going to go in and do the same twirling motion, and once I release it, my waves will definitely be more enhanced and even throughout my whole hair. I feel like just doing this step really makes my layers stand out and makes my hair just look more even throughout. But I just repeat that on the other side of my head and honestly, the extra step in doing this for the top layer of my hair really makes a difference and it makes it look like I put in a ton of effort into styling it when it really took like 5 minutes. So now that we're done with the hairstyle, I wanted to share some new techniques I learned on how to add more volume to the roots. You can use this technique in conjunction with any hairstyle, whether it be full-on curls, waves, or even some of the quick hairstyles I shared on my channel. I already added waves to my hair, so I'll just share it with this hairstyle today. I'm going to be using the smoothing brush for this, and I'll use it in the highest heat setting and lowest air setting. I'm going to start by sectioning off my hair so that I can work on the side of my hair right above my ear. I'm basically trying to add some volume to the side so that it's not so flat. So after I section it off, I'm just going to place the brush at my roots. I'm going to turn on the air, wiggle the brush a little, lift it around 2 centimeters away from my roots, and then instead of doing the cool shot, I just turn it off and just let it cool naturally for about 5 seconds before just releasing it. You can see that this gives instant volume to the side of my hair and even though it looks subtle, it really makes a difference when I release the top layer that's clipped up. You can also see the difference compared to the other side of my head where it's not styled. And I'm just going to section off another layer that was clipped up and just use the same technique. Wiggle it on the hairline, lift it about 2 centimeters, let it cool naturally, and just brush it out. That way when you just release the top portion, the lifting that you did in the inner layers really just add volume to the sides of your hair. I also like to add some volume to the back of my head and in order to get that nice rounded shape in the back, I'm just going to section off the top layer, clip it up. And then starting at the roots, I'm just going to wiggle the brush in the same way we did before. Lift it off a bit, let it cool for a few seconds, and then just brush it out. You'll see that that added a nice lift over here. And once you cover it with the top section that's clipped up, your head shape will just look so much nicer and very full. I personally kind of have a flat head shape in the back, so this has been giving me a nice rounded shape. Then after that, I'll go in and do the same thing at my hairline so the top of my head has some volume. I shared this briefly in my previous tutorial, but I just wiggle it at the top using the same technique, lift it up 2 centimeters away, let it cool naturally without any cool shot, and then I just brush it forward. You can play with this a couple of times to just achieve the volume that you want in the different sections. So after I'm done with all of that, I'll use the barrels to curl my curtain bangs. Just make sure to always choose the correct direction to curl away from the face. I'm just going to start at the ends and let it roll towards my root. Apply heat for a bit and do a little cool shot. And then when I release, it just really frames my face nicely. I'm going to just repeat that on the other side. 
And one last tip of adding volume to the front part of your hairline. I like to add a little rounded shape right where my hairline starts. I'm just taking a small section at one side of my hairline towards the front and I'll place the barrel on my roots like this. I kind of tighten it around the barrel so that there's a little bit of tension. And then I turn on the air, apply some heat, and once it gets hot, I just use a cool shot to just lock in the shape. And once you release it, you'll see a nice little lift at the roots. So like I said previously, this is by far my favorite method to use on my air wrap. I just try to show some tips and techniques to add volume to my hair, which I've been loving to do lately. It's a really quick and efficient way to create these natural waves and I love how it also enhances my layers. I feel like this wavy hair will look best on mid to long hair, but the volumizing technique at the roots will definitely work for any type of hair length. So I hope you guys like the hairstyles and tips that I shared here. A lot of you have asked me about products I use to hold my curls, so I just wanted to share my favorite one that I use, which is this one from Briogeo. This is the Farewell Frizz Hair Oil, and you can see that I am almost out of this bottle. And I've been using this product for about two years now. A little goes a long way for this product, so this whole bottle lasts me a very long time. And I honestly don't even use a full pump. I just do kind of like a half a pump like this. And what I do is I just rub it across my hands to kind of warm it up a bit. And I just run it mainly through the ends of my hair as well as like the midsection just so it kind of gets rid of any frizz and adds shine to it. And I also like to just curl my hair outward so that it just enhances the curl as I apply the product. I really like this one because first off, it smells really good. Like it smells very florally and fresh and it actually says it has rosehip and it's an argan and coconut oil blend. So the scent is really subtle and not overpowering, but I just really like how it smells. And secondly, this bottle lasts a really long time. Like I said before, I don't even use a full pump. Because it's a hair oil, I avoid applying it too much because that's just gonna kind of weigh down my hair and it also might make it look a little bit greasy. So I just use the littlest amount and it works to just kind of hold my curls. If I don't use some kind of product like this after I style my hair, my curls will definitely straighten and flatten out throughout the day. So I always make sure I apply this afterwards because I don't want my hard work to go to waste. So if you have naturally straight hair like I do, I definitely recommend using a hair oil or serum. And I really like this one because it also helps maintain the frizz for those really like humid and rainy days. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, if you have any questions, definitely leave it in the comments and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys already own the air up and you try any of these techniques out, definitely let me know how it turned out and I would love to hear about it. And if you're still thinking about getting one, I can honestly say that I love mine so much and I use it every day so it's worth the money for me. Anyway, that's a wrap for today. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.